Hello and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Esther. Welcome to my channel, My Money Matters. This channel is to make me accountable with my budget and my hope is to inspire others to see the benefit of saving and cash stuffing. So today I'm going to be showing you a purchase that I made that I was saving up for and now I'm just going to have to keep saving to pay myself back. It is a... Saffiano. So I've been saving up for a fine effect Saffiano and this popped up on eBay and um, so yes I went for it and yes I won. I won the bid. So I would say first impressions is I was surprised how big it was. I didn't think it was going to be this big. I'm just going to grab my other purse to give you some kind of um, sizing on this. So this is what I'd call a standard size purse. Now, in fact, I mean, on screen, it doesn't look that big, but when it came in the post, I was thinking, cool, is that, is that how big it is? And it just, it feels a lot bigger. It feels more almost personal file effect size. And I think I'm just going to have to get used to it. Now, if you're seeing the colour on screen, it's not quite true to form. Um, on the screen, it's showing up a more turquoise but in, in real life it's more like a cornflower baby blue colour. Uh, this is the, I think it's called Vista Blue. So if you've not heard of a Filofax personal compact Saffiano, it's trending a lot on the cash budgeters, cash stuffing um, channels and yes I've been eyeing that one for a while but when this came up on eBay I couldn't resist the chance to go for it and I got it cheaper for than I would if I bought it new. So it was very good condition, it's got a tiny scratch at the front which I'm not bothered about and a few marks around the zip but to be honest it's going to be used so that's fine. Uh, it's got a deep pocket at the back, you open the zip, you've got a space for pen, so I've just put one of my erasable pens in for now, but I'm hoping to get a matchy matchy pen, as you do, and then there's a card slots in here, and zip compartment to put your money, and then there's another slot there where you can put your um, receipts or whatever you want to pop in there. And there's a gap down here. So if you're the kind of person that loves to be organised and have lots of space in your wallet, you can. So then the next big thing was, will it fit in my cash stuffing envelopes? Now, I don't know if these are bigger than the sort of normal ones. These ones that I got come with a label at the front. And I've not labelled these yet. All I've done is literally taken out my labels from my wallet and I've put them in here for now. I might change this, I don't know yet. We will see. So I fitted in six at the moment. Now again, maybe it's because the zips are making it bulky, I don't know. It does fit in, but you've just got to maybe get used to moving them out of the way when you come to close it. I'll show you that in a minute. So I've just put my categories in, as you can see, I've not got a lot left. My allowance, miscellaneous, gifts, fun food, food fun, fun food, family film and hollybobs. And then I thought I could have a space for receipts at the back. I've left some of the papers in and it came with this three card holder and addresses at the back. I don't know why. I've left those in. Just thought I might use that <laughs> in case of emergencies. So this whole compartment slips out like this. So you can actually, if you have a diary or you want to take your wallet separately for whatever reason, you can take this whole thing out for cash stuffing, for example. And that just slips underneath there. Just seeing if it goes through the other side. No, so that's an enclosed compartment that it slips into. Then you've got an elastic area here and then you've got more space double space here for cards and then you've got a slot down here so lots and lots of space like I said a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be and I've just got to make sure that those zips are tucked in from my cash wallets for when I go to zip up a little bit bulky they do stick out a bit but um, from what I've seen it does live up to the longevity so would I spend £32 and get a new one probably had I realised it was so big would I still buy it not sure I'm just going to see how I get on with it um, the idea behind this was so that 
I can have my categories separate, but also be able to put my coins separate. Quite often the coins go in the purse and I just spend out of the coins. So this is me trying to be more organised. We will see how this goes. So like I said, sometimes I find I've got to just slip the ring binder back a little bit in order to give myself room to close that zip over. So you've just got to be careful with that. But if anyone's got this and got experience with it, they can let me know how you get on with your own one but I'm pleased with that I'm pleased that I managed to get it for a cheaper price so this is my challenge binder and I'm going to go and take you straight to the YouTube challenge now I think I've got myself a little bit confused my totals but I, in the end I'm hoping it will tot up so I think what I need to do here really for the totals is do my latest total if that makes sense of my running subscribers and likes so when I've checked, I've got 52 subscribers and I think I've totted up 130 likes, which seems a bit too many. But uh, we'll, we'll go with that figure, shall we? So I've got out 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. And then I've also got some loose change in my purse. I've only got what, uh, £3.15, so I'm going to owe myself 30p. I don't think I'm on week six either, but <laughs> I've, I've gone completely wrong somewhere. So I reckoned it was 130. So I think I'm up to 200 and... I should be up to 214 pounds and 90, according to my rubbish calculations. So let's just, I'm going to stick in an IOU, I think, while I remember, of 30p, which isn't significant, but it's just going to make me even more confused if I don't write it down now. So let's see what we have here. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 210. 15, 20, 220 pounds plus some change. I'm just going to keep stuffing it and see where we go with it. <laughs> so because this one's getting stuffed fairly quickly, much quicker than I ever thought it would, so if you like my videos and if you subscribe, that money goes towards this challenge. So... Do help me along with that. I thought I might save up for a new laptop because the amount that's going in this challenge. So thank you so much if you've already subscribed. I don't have any change left to put in my 365 challenge. Now, this was the money I was saving up to get my Safiano. So rather than taking any money out of there, I'm just going to keep stuffing it until I owe myself back the money and until I can buy the pen to go with it. The same thing with my money jar challenge, I was saving up for a binder which I bought already for my long term stuffing. So I'm just going to um, keep tot of how much I need to pay myself back and put the money towards any channel spends that I need to do for my giveaways. Now, kids money challenge. Let's have a look. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> My son decided already that he wanted to spend the money that he'd saved up in his money savings challenge because he said, well, it is there to be spent. You do, you do save up for things. I said, OK, but the idea is you kind of fill it up a bit more. So I'm going to have to rub these out. So the way you can rub it out is by using either hand sanitizer or um, alcohol or even, or what's it called? Um surgical spirit anything with which is alcohol based can rub it out so i need to rub those out because we're going to start from scratch with those so i had a very small amount going into my round it up challenge this week and it was only 13p so for the round it up challenge you just take out the last three digits of your bank account and putting it into a savings account it's a great way to help save without really noticing it go in so i'm just going to add this to my Total, so I've got 73.39 that's gone in. Before I forget, the other thing that I want to do is in my long term savings challenge, my son has ordered, or oh, I've ordered for my son a Leavers hoodie. 
They are not cheap. I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you've had to order Levers hoodies, but um, I'm going to have to take out some money. So minus twenty-five pounds. I'm left with twenty-five. Yes, ladies and gents, twenty-five quid for a hoodie. And of course, you know, you want to have the name on the back, so you pay extra for that. So I'm just going to take this out now and that will go into the back to bank envelope so that I can separate that. Don't forget, I am running my 200 subscriber giveaway. So please be sure to check out that video and leave a comment in order to be in for the winnings for that. Thank you so much for watching along. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell to get notifications. I love reading your comments, so please be sure to leave me one and I'll answer back when I can. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care and God bless. Catch you next time on My Money Matters.